Hello, Clint Division Boy, Psychic Samaria here, Psychic Show and Psychic to the Stars with your <clears throat> Twin Flame Love Scopes reading for the month of June for the sign of Gemini and Virgo. If your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or other things in the sign of Gemini and Virgo, hope this resonates with you. Rosemary, Joseph, Dennis, Lawrence, Mark, Tiffany, Spirit Guides, be present with me. Archangel, I'm sorry, Ancestors, Odin, New, Samuel, Lord, Anthony. Auntie Anthony, Anthony Myers, Michael Monroe, Laura Simmons, Ina Simmons, Robert Simmons, Laura's Monroe, Carol McNish, Albania Simmons, Mary Francis, Davis William Smith, Ernest Simmons, Willow Bell Moore, Albania Simmons, Mary Hunter, Harold Roan, Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel, okay, Archangel Chamuel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel, Ishu. Papa Lekba, Ilekwa, you have many names. Thank you, best friend. Oshun, Shango Ogun. Give me the message you have for the collective. For the signs of Gemini and Virgo for the month of June. Okay? Okay. If they fall on the floor for me, I'll read them upright, okay? All right. World card. Page of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Fool, the devil in reverse, and the hermit in reverse. Okay. Okay. Eight of Swords upright. Emperor in reverse. Four of Cups upright. Eight of Cups in reverse. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have here, Gemini and Virgo, for the month of June. Your love scopes reading here. Right. Let's put a little rose water here. My crystal neutralizing my crystal from my last reading here. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So that's what we have here. All right, so basically what I'm seeing here, it looks like potentially someone may be in prison or in jail. Obviously, Justice next to the Eight of Swords here. Um, this means someone may have been incarcerated or maybe trying to get out Twin Flame or maybe your Twin Flame is locked up or could be facing imprisonment or could be locked up in their own mind or more so may be in prison as far as like in another relationship with someone or you may feel like you're in prison within this relationship some kind of way. It's being controlled or being told what to do. Or, you know, saying like as far as like maybe like, you know, you have been maybe sacrificing your life for this person, giving your life up for this person or this other twin flame. And you feel like you cannot escape, okay? You can't get out. In July, I'm seeing there's going to be justice for you, okay? In a relationship where you'll be able to feel like all your work and all your dedication, all your sacrifice was not in vain uh, within this relationship. Like maybe giving up money to help your twin flame out, um... Paying, putting money on their books, or helping them towards their career, or helping them pay for certain things by sacrificing your needs for theirs. This speaks to more so your sacrifice being paid off this month, Gemini and Virgo. Okay, um, and not taking it um, for granted. Okay, by spirit. Okay, um, the spirit's paying this back to you. Okay, I'm also seeing the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Swords here in reverse, and the World card in the middle. Uh, it comes down to you guys being more defining about your finances and particularly not being like so secretive about your finances. If this is something you guys want to work at, don't go at this as if, well, you know, I'm not going to ever tell him how much money I got no more. Or I'm not going to tell her how much money I got no more. Fuck that. She's not going to know um, how much money I have anymore. Thank you, Yamaja, um, for being present with me. Um, she's not going to have my money no more. Um, or this person, I'm not going to be honest with it. I'm going to be honest with this person, but I'm going to be only honest about certain things, but not about my money. I mean, that's what the take you have to take on this one to, for a balance. Um, probably won't be a good aspect to go about this, unfortunately. Um, you know, especially if you've been feeling like you've been lied to or monotony or you feel like you're under a spell or feel like you've been allowing this person to dictate or control your life because you're in love with this person, but you haven't been getting your fair share in return, uh, Four of Cups is saying, but not in the Eight of Swords is saying, basically here, um, you have to make a change, okay? 
or there will be a change, okay? All right, um, take a look here. Start evaluating and start making priority what's important to you, Gemini and Virgo, okay? As it relates to your relationship, as far as like not being selfish, but also being more so one to understand that you're deserving of great things, okay? Virgo, I'm seeing like you being the world here in the middle. Definitely, let me know there's an earth element situation. Virgo, I'm pulling more so towards you as far as being more vocal, saying what you want, okay? Stop trying to do things behind each other's backs. That's what I'm seeing a lot of backstabbing or a lot of like manipulation or a lot of. Conniving, not conniving, but you know what I'm saying? Maybe conniving, but more so secrets. <laughs> secrets gotta go. That's gonna fuck you guys' relationship up. You gotta get rid of these secrets. Whatever it is that you're saying, like, I'm not gonna let this person know he, that fucked me up. You can't be the, um, what you call it? The one to, the judge or the adjudicator. Only God can judge. Only God and only spirit and only karma can work in those arenas, right? Stop trying to take on the job of karma because what you're going to do is you're going to take the karma off that person that was due to affect the person you're, you're flame, and you're going to take on it. And you've probably been doing this before before now and now you're being realizing it and you're feeling foolish but it wasn't that you're a fool. You're in love. You're doing everything right. So at the end of the day, yeah, I don't want to say your twin flame is going to get the brunt end of it. Because you want you guys both want to be harmonious, right? And be in one accord. So just understand that love, if you, if it, if that this person will dedicate and pay back this debt that they owe you. And that you weren't a fool. Even if this person has been acting a little bit erratic lately or um, capricious lately. Okay? They don't have, they're not being predictable. You can't understand what the fuck they're doing. They're a little bit, you know, like out of routine, out of sync lately, as far as communication, as far as like talking to you, as far as like being around, as far as being available. Um, Gemini Virgo, there's some there's some new things, some new struggles, and some new awakenings happening in the month of June. Okay, again, this person may be due to go to court in August. Um, or it may get pushed back, okay? Because this is what I'm seeing. Emperor usually deals with judge, also deals with more like grandfather, more ancestral energy. But for this particular thing, uh, for the instance of the reading, since I have the Eight of Swords on the left side, and this is using my jail card, like, you know, like, you know can't travel, can't go across the borders, um, stuck in a rut or imprisonment. Eight on the right side in reverse lets me know, like, this also deals with, normally deals with, like, being able to get your house in order, budgeting, make sure you, you know you check your finances, but in the reverse, it's saying you're not checking your finances as well. But most of maybe like you may be like doing stuff in secret or in private. As well as this person may not be aware that they may you know require you know that you may be trying to keep them stuck in jail. That you might really may be reneging on an agreement that you made or promise that you made, which you do not want to do. Okay, change up one thing, but don't renege on a promise. And then something you, you decide you, you said you're going to do. Oh, that was a mouth. Sorry. Oh, it's on my, it's on my, uh, pants now. Oh, Lord. This will be interesting. Sorry, the bug is on my pants. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right, so, thank you, spiritual energy. I know your spirit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm getting, all right? <clears throat> As you see, I'm going to got all my pants. Oh, you guys can see. Right there. So I'm not going to touch it. All right. Whatever. All right. So. I'm going to move somewhere else. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Ooh, wait, okay. Where? All right. So. Um, what else I going to say? I'm sorry. That bug took my whole fucking attention away. I'm focused. All right. Focus. Focus. All right. Here we go. All right, so next we're going to look into the ancestral aspect of this, Gemini, you know? All right, and if they're not in jail, imprisonment, it mostly could be, like, imprisonment as far as, like, them, you know, controlling you, controlling the finances, controlling the money, controlling the, the bank, and you're like, no, I'm telling this person controlling the bank and controlling the money or whatnot. No, it's not going to happen anymore. We get my own bank account. We get my own finances, and, like, I'm not even going to put their name on it. That's fine. You can do that, but let them know you're doing that before you do it, okay? You don't want deception to creep up in there because that's not cute, all right? 
um, Passion Ignited. I'm going to do a 10 card spherical um, reading on this one. Material and Spiritual Prosperity. Movement, Choices, and Decisions. Okay. Okay, let's pull some more up. Sacral Chakra. Okay, it looks like somebody in the group is praying or somebody in this relationship prays a lot or is definitely in, you know, connected to prayer, which is great. Positive movement forward. Okay, and then with that, we have intuition, movement choices and decision again. Okay, you know what you know, the devil and the hermit card was in reverse. You're not fooled. You're doing exactly what Spirit has been aligning you to do. So we're going to look into that more in a minute. New beginnings. Okay? Yes, the way you handle your finances now may be different. The way you, you know, as far as like how you spend your money may be different. Maybe you know you want your own account. You want your independence. You don't want to be helping this person out anymore. Maybe help them get their own account. Maybe help them spend their money the way they've been spending it. The way you know they want to. Like it, make it be a joint or have this person have access to your debit card. Are you taking this debit card back or getting a new one? Don't get a new number and lie and say you lost a debit card and, or whatever like that or whatever like that to get a new card. Hear me out. Let them know what you're doing and why you're doing it. If they don't agree with it, guess what? You, that's just, you have to, you know, <laughs> type of word, independence, Gemini and Virgo, on one another, but also on oneself, okay? Married or single. Crown chakra, rest and rejuvenate, okay? Last one, the universe. Wonderful, Okay? So things are aligned for you, Gemini and Virgo, to it's gonna work out. You guys just can't let the petty small stuff, the illusions and um, things like that distract you off your path. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Alright? So these things are happening for you, okay? Ooh, somebody just pushed my legs, I swear. Pushing pump in my leg, my legs start shaking, that's weird. Aha, uh -huh, energy. Uh, okay, angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Ariel, Archangel Chamuel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron. Thank you, Gabriel. Archangel Uriel, give me the message you have for the collective. For the sign of Gemini and Virgo, for the sign of, for the month of June. Pull nine cards with two significators on the side. Thank you. Whoop, look at that. I call the angels, they come out. Thank you, Archangels. We're going to get some people spiritual up in this mother today. <laughs> Do social media. Thank you. See my cards pop out. Oh, man holding a coin. So definitely speaks to about the money. Okay? Thank you, angels. I love you. Journey. Own account. Separating your accounts. Doing things on your own. Solo dolo. While having a joint account, have your own shit. Or, 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 or you know what I'm saying? Or... You know what I'm saying? Um, motivate the other party to get their own account. Here we go. Care connections on the journey. Can y'all see that? Let me see. Let me pull it a little. Yeah, y'all can see it. Under that, healer of the ages. Okay, more spiritual uh, well, awakening as well is going to be happening for you. Angel of love. Woo! My angels are coming out today, baby. Okay? Two, three more dead. Okay? Angel of balance in reverse. Woo! And these angels coming out when I call them? <laughs> Y'all better learn. Not, you know, not y'all doing that, Virgo. You guys are actually good with prayer from what I saw earlier. You know what I'm saying? So, not to separate nobody or, or you know, I do have to high five you know, Gemini and Virgo twin flames. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because I know you guys are spiritual above all things. So the small little thing about this money situation, who controls the money, how you control the money, who's the breadwinner, getting my own account, don't let that be something that distracts you. Guarding in the gate. Okay? Stop being so secretive. Okay? Stop feeling like, damn, this person using me. I'm about to start doing I'm not going to be foolish no more. I'm about to fool their ass. No. Don't distort the balance. Okay? Okay, love, you got love down. Okay, with this money situation, Gemini Virgo, it's gonna be your guys' challenge. 
There it is. Financial constraints in reverse. Yeah, and that's an illusion. For most part. Oh! Woman holding a heart. In reverse. See? It's going to turn you bitter. Don't do it. Don't do it. You've been helping that motherfucker in jail out or helping him out with some of his kids or his finances or his situation and, and the betterment. You taking the, 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 the shit in the stick or feeling like you're taking the shit in the stick. That's the sacrifice you put in. Spirit will pay you back for that. You don't even need your twin flame to pay you back for that. You just do what spirit asks you to do in a situation or move to do. Okay? I'm sure you set with it, Virgo and Gemini. You're a very intelligent sign couple. And beyond sign, intellect, it's more so about the empathy of how you feel. Okay? Your intuition. It's very strong. Okay? It's probably stronger than most uh, of the twin flame energies combined together, to be honest. Okay? As, as, it, relates, as you know, it relates to you guys as a couple. But you can't let the balance, feel like you're unbalanced and be off or being fooled, try to fool them back. No. Well, they did it to me. They should have known better. They should, they, they, you know, it, it was all good. They did it. They weren't thinking about it when they did it. You can't think about it like that. And it's easy for us to do that. I do it too sometimes. Shit, fuck it. But that's not what the emphasis is about for this, for this one. For this month. It's more so on... Let me just read the Angel of Balance in reverse here. <laughs> okay, we got Angel of Balance. In reverse. In this position, the Angel of Balance comes with a loving warning that something may be seriously out of proportion in your life. It can be an important emotional component, such as a lack of self-acceptance or self-care. Okay, rest of rejuvenate came out as well. Remember, however, that when you put yourself last, the universe, which came out last time, will do likewise. Receiving the card reverse can oftentimes be a warning of lost energy, calling you to relax more, rest and rejuvenate, sleep more, or even just drink more water. That's what the fuck I'm doing. Hello, kitty. All right. Investigate how you may be out of balance in your time and energy regarding the externals and internals in your life. The adjacent cards in your spread could indicate the particulars. Right? Finances. Right? Okay? Here it is. Perhaps you've been working too much or been too obsessed with relationships or money. Had to put my face in that one. Right. This loving angel can help bring you this courage and wisdom you need to break such toxic patterns. Meditate on the angel's presence and visualize her pouring a beautiful liquid light through all of your chakras, balancing them and bringing you peace. Remember that you always have power to bring things back into peaceful balance. Yes, you do. Woman holding the heart in reverse. Let's read that one. 44. <laughs> yep. Reverse. This card reverse can indicate a state of being emotionally overwhelmed. And you may feel as though your love life is turned upside down. It could also refer to some different difficulty in a family matter or a close friendship. If this is the case, it's time to let go or resolve things now. There's also a possibility that this woman reverses someone who brings a negative emotional influence to your life. There may be jealousy, resentments, or even more subtle manipulations going on. Don't take things personally. Okay? Don't try to go out there and balance it on your own. Don't try to do some sneaky shit. Don't try to go behind it and open up a whole separate account. And, you know, oh, well, I'm just going to tell them, you know, put my little money to do that. But let them know you're doing that. If it's your true twin flame, especially if you're married. All right? But endeavor to bring greater clarity and calm self-empowerment to the situation now. But don't take things personally, but endeavor to bring greater clarity and calm self-empowerment to the situation now. All, and always remember to bring a loving, heartfelt energy to yourself first. It didn't say that, but I added the first in there. Okay? That's what this says. Killer of the ages. You guys are great at this. This is what you guys' twin flame is about. You both the healers. Heal. <laughs> okay? When it comes to money, you guys have a little issue. It can be easily worked out. Just have a conversation. If you need more clarity on that, book a reading with me. Send me a comment below and I'll give my information and you can book a reading with me. <laughs> I'll give you the avenue to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let me go ahead and pull this out here. I'm going to pull the timing oracles here. Uh, let me just... Yeah. Let me pull ten of these here. In a month's time. 
future. A week from now, left side, right side, here, here, and then my buffer, or my antecedent card. Next full moon, you need a break. A week from now, you need a break. The bottom of the spherical thing, the name for this, this dimensional spread here is January and December. Okay? So it looks like it's gonna go, this is gonna go into next year. Um, as far as like maybe commitment level or taking things, you know, to another level. And then the buffer entity the card I have is next new moon. So next full moon and next new moon. All right. So your ebb and flow looks like it goes month to month, which is good, or from moon cycle to moon cycle, okay? For you, Gemini. So basically, uh, every, you know, twin flame has an ebb and flow, like as far as like energies, as far as things that like, you know, challenges that may come up, things that maybe you, know, you, you may need to reconsider, look into, or expect to like happen out of the fucking blue. Nothing bad. Um, sometimes it's good, you know, sometimes good shit ain't always good. But this also gives you a, a time frame of like maybe to expect or oh, something to look out for. Not to make you paranoid, but to just make you prepare or make you aware. More than anything, aware. Because um, I don't want you to be paranoid. But I just want to let you know every month cycle, every new moon cycle, you guys could cultivate new shit and also new things. If you by knowing this, you'll get more maybe in advance or like a little, little cheat sheet or a little, you know, a little one up, if you would. If you try to like, you're trying to start something new, create something new, invest in something new. Um, know your um, the uh, Mercury retrograde cycle with this as well. Work around it, work with it, because that also falls within this as well. But I don't think retrogrades work more so against you guys, Gemini and Virgo, all the time. But also with that in mind, keep the Mercury retrograde cycle in in, in your mind as well as knowing every in a month's time. Every new moon to full moon, you guys can cultivate a new aspect, a new um, idea, a new project, a new um, new money, new prosperity, new avenues for money. Okay, new ways to heal, um, new ways to get involved, new ways to volunteer, new ways to be present, new ways to grow your spirituality, and grow your business, or grow whatever it is you're trying to grow in your relationship together or separate. Okay, that's your cycle for this. All right. Um. And thank you for the end, Buffer Kirk. All right, so also a week from now, it's saying you need a break, okay? Take a break a week from now. Whatever it is you've been working on, take a break, stop it, and just take a week off and just let your ancestors do whatever it is you've already been working on, okay? That makes any sense. Take a break. Now, in the future, I'm seeing December, January, Gemini Virgo are going to be some great months for you, okay? Back to back, okay? It's like you've made it, okay? December, January, going to next year. If you're running for race or office, you particularly could be winning or may win. I don't know where that came from. All right. Or if you're running for a position or you may be trying to do something as far as a management position or um, I'm getting a um, um, promotion or maybe new business or maybe new job um, or maybe something as far as recognition because the recognition reward did come out for you earlier. I'm seeing December, January. going to be back to back months. It could go February too. But I do see December, January starting this month time, month trend I was telling you about. Where every month, every every moon cycle, things are happening. This is gonna be a big, big, big dynamic um, uh, a harvest for you this winter. Okay, all right. It's your twin flame love skills energy. Um, oh, actually, let me pull two more for left and right. I'm sorry, let me pull two more. So left and right. Sorry, let me pull. I did eight and then do ten. No, nah, February. I told you. December, January, and what? February. <laughs> On the right side, spring. Okay? So that this side, a week from now, and this is a spring, right? Take a break. You're going to need it. You're going to need it. Okay? This is the season we're in. It's my right side. On this side, a month's time. Within a month's time, December, January, and February. Yeah, y'all better, y'all better start, y'all better, okay, look, book a reading with me, y'all can see I'm legit, thank you, Spirit, for having my back, always having my back, and now have me looking crazy out here in these streets, thank you, Jesus, but, thank you, Collective, I love y'all, thank you, Spirit, thank y'all for 
allowing me and devoting your energy and your time for my videos to, to walk with me on this because you could be doing anything else. I appreciate that. But, yes, not but and. December, January, February are going to be very good months for you guys. Again, it signifies and confirms that you guys have this monthly cycle with every moon of things going well for you. So, whatever you're harvesting now in June, then, then six months from now, up until January to February, it's going to overflow. Abundance, abundance. So, just thank God for the three months or more. March, it could go on. Okay? But don't stop harvesting in these months. But these months, you're going to pretty much not have to do much. But reap, right? So take a break now, because like I said, you're going to need it. Okay? You're going to need it soon. All right? That's what I have here. Okay, then again, my name is Psychic Samario. This has been your Love Scopes reading for the month of June for the sign of Gemini Virgo. If this resonates with you, you're going to journey with me every month on this, and you like what you see, do me a big favor, subscribe below, please. Like, comment, and share. I do acknowledge all comments, good or bad. If you don't like it, dislike it. Shit, I don't care. Um, okay? Hater makes motivators, you know? <laughs> you know, you come calling you a hater, but everybody has a right to their opinion. Um, but yes, uh, engage any way you can, okay? I don't take it personally. Um, you know, whatever. But I would definitely love it if you subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys next month, Gemini Virgo. Love you guys. Peace out.